Ooh, just finally got done untwisting my hair. I almost feel like I'm from the UK. You feel me doing real big things, yeah? Shout out to all my UK YouTube, uh, <laughs> shout out to all my UK subscribers who watch these videos, bro. Appreciate you guys though too, for real. So yeah, so today's video is gonna be more of an instructional video, you know what I'm saying, of what my routine is for my upper body day. So yeah, I'm gonna explain it in detail in that video. Like I said, routine of how I would describe it of a perfect, having that spring break body, you know what I'm saying? And, and I promise you, if you do these, workouts the leg workout uh, from the last video and then this upper body and you do this consistency and i always going to say this cpd consistency persistence discipline you're going to get the body you want especially as a guy you know what i'm saying i think it's very important for a guy to work out but besides that you know follow the routines that i put inside this video and i promise you you'll get the results you want but if you enjoyed this video like i said like it like it and subscribe you know what i'm saying so that's pretty much all I got. So yeah, man, um, peace. Enjoy this video, bro. Oh yeah, and also before I forget, me and Nick got something cooking uh, this week as well though too. Um, you know, we got something special recording. So yeah, peace. Yo, 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 what's good with you guys, man? It's your boy Vilkin St. Far, man. And we back here, another instructional video on today's upper body, you know, so. In this video, I'm going to explain the sets and reps and emphasize why I do certain workouts to create the spring body that you want. Okay, so let's get started. Before every workout, I recommend that everybody do their abs in the very beginning of their workout. Why do I say that? Is because sometimes, not all, we do not feel like doing our abs after we have done a heavy squat or a heavy bench or things like that. So my best recommendation is to do your abs in the very beginning of the workout, but we will come back to that later. First part of the workout, we have seated calf raises and shoulder shrugs. Seated calf raises, we want to do two sets of 20 to 30 reps. And what we want to do is that within the first set, we want to decrease the weight by 10 to 15 pounds four times as we go within that set. And how we will do it is that we will do the first the first set, we'll do our 20, decrease the weight, do 20 again, decrease the weight, do 20 again, decrease the weight, do 20 again, and then you rest. And that will be your first set for seated calf races. Now for the shoulder shrugs, we want to do two sets of 50, between 50 to 30 pound weight, and we want to do our reps to 50 reps. Now, when doing the shoulder shrugs, we want our shoulders all the way down, extending down, like our arms are literally dangling from both sides with the weight on our side, and then we struggle all the way up as far as up as we can, and then back right down. And after you do the first set, you rest for two minutes, and then you hop back in and do the second set. After we're done doing the seated calf raises and the shoulder shrugs, we go over to the lap pull downs where we have a super set of doing a lap pull downs wide grip and lat pull downs close grip both of them we have three sets of 10 and what we want to focus on is when we're doing the wide grip lat pull downs is get that nice squeeze at the bottom of the range and stretch our lats all the way out right like i said before is to get that muscle tear going and so that we can get more and more growth in those lats the same thing with the close grip we want to go all the way down on the bottom of our range and then extend all the way out which works the lats when we're at the top of the range and then when we pull all the way down we are working the upper mid back of the close grip lat pull downs we rest for two minutes and after we're done with all three sets, we hop into the next workout. The next workout we have is incline bench with the super set of sh shoulder lateral raises. With the first set of incline bench, we want to aim for four sets, eight to 10, and we want to pick a weight that challenges us. And that will be between 65 to 75% of our run rep max when we're doing the incline bench. Now, after you're done with the first set of the incline dumbbell bench, now we hop 
straight into the shoulder lateral raises and we have four sets of 12 for that one is that a straight 45 degree or 90 degree straight ahead and when we're raising our shoulders we want our shoulders to not pass our eye level we want our shoulders to just be straight at front of us or straight at an angle and after we're done doing the shoulder and the incline bench press we go over to the standing shoulder press and the rear delts. We have the rear delt flies. Now for the shoulder press, we want to be able to do three sets of 12 with good control of the weight, going all the way up and all the way going all the way down. We don't want to pick a weight that's too heavy that we're rounding our back that we are literally feeling so much pain in our back. We want to stay as low as we can doing the rep and the uh, workout correctly. And again, for the shoulder press, we have three sets of 10 to 12. Now, for the rear delt flies, we have 15 reps for three sets. What we want to do is that we are slight bent at the knee, we hunching over, and we want to have our arms with a very light weight dangling on each side. And we want to pull our elbows back, squeezing our back at the top for a second or two, and bring it all the way back down. Pull it back again, squeeze at the top, hold it, and then bring it all the way back down. And we want to continue doing that for 15 more reps. After you guys are done supersetting those two, for the first two sets, we rest for two minutes in between, and then we go back at it again with the shoulder press then hop into the uh, rear delt flies yep. like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video there's a list at the end of this video right here we will show every other workout that i also add inside there some of them are optional if you want to continue um going inside going hard inside the gym but um besides that this is my upper body slash spring break of a body day one if you enjoy these type of videos please leave a like comment and do subscribe for more and yeah that's all i got you guys enjoy peace love you guys